Oh. Look at him, fellas. <laughs> you crying, boy? We will go back down to McDonald's and get you a hamburger and some french fries. You little sissy boy! What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. Remember the good old times when all of us as Americans could unite, no matter your skin color, background, where you come from, socioeconomic status, nothing, age, nothing. Nothing could stop us all from linking arms and saying with one single voice about Hillary Clinton, lock her up. They Remember those times? Election, bro. No, she lost. Simpler she times. Lost. The next time, no, no, the next time. Lock her up, 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 She's got to go to Wisconsin to campaign. Republicans you know could happened? have locked her up. Isn't that amazing? Republicans had unified control of government in 2017. You just didn't have the will to power. Just didn't have the will to actually do something about it and do something about the criminal class in our country. Generally, because Republicans, are, there are so many, too many Republicans part of that criminal class and it benefits them. So the reason why we chanted lock her up about Hillary Clinton, let me just state this for the record, is because Hillary Clinton's criminal, Hillary Clinton and her actions directly led to the destabilization of the Middle East, the death of untold hundreds of thousands, if not millions of innocent people living there. She, she was giddy and squealed when Muammar Gaddafi died. We came, we saw he died. Hmm, remember that clip? Yeah. Also, of course, uh, included in the death toll, is Americans, American service members, Navy SEALs, an ambassador, pretty evil person. Not to mention like all the people that probably got Arkansas here stateside, all the strange, mysterious deaths so for people who have information that would lead to the arrest of Hillary Clinton. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, that's the reason why we don't like Hillary Clinton. She's an evil goblin demon globalist. The left wants to lock up Donald Trump for something totally different. The left wants to lock up Donald Trump because Donald Trump hurt their feelings. Don't care if Hillary Clinton trolls me. I think that would be hilarious if Hillary Clinton trolled me. But Donald Trump trolling the left is enough to get him locked up. This is a great example of that. Donald Trump uh, tweeting dur uh, truthing during the Oscars, uh, talking about how bad Jimmy Kimmel is. And that, of course, he can't help himself. Jimmy Kimmel has to go out and actually read that live on stage. How humiliating. I was and um, I was told we have like an extra minute and um, I'm really proud of something. Uh, I, I was wondering if I could share it with you. I just got a, a review and um, <laughs> has there ever been a worse host than Jimmy Kimmel at the Oscars? <laughs> His opening was that of a less than average person trying too hard to be something which he is not and never can be. <laughs> Get rid of Kimmel and perhaps replace him with another washed up but cheap ABC talent, George Slopinopoulos. He would make everybody on stage look bigger, stronger, and more glamorous. Blah, blah, blah. Make America great again. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel actually read it. Slopinopoulos. So the reason why they want to put Donald Trump in jail is because he humiliates them. And he's been humiliating them for a very long time. Jimmy, that same Jimmy Kimmel, of course, uh, can't help himself but read the Donald Trump truth. Donald Trump lives rent free in his head. And so therefore fantasies about Donald Trump going to jail live rent free in Jimmy Kimmel's head. He actually did an entire uh, sketch, not sure you can call it comedy, but a sketch on this, making fun of what would happen if Donald Trump went to jail uh, with people who've served time in jail. Hi, my name is Roby. I served 12 years in California State Prison. I'm Justin Paperni. I served 18 months at Taft Federal Prison Camp. My name is Carlos Cervantes. I served uh, almost 11 years in the California State Prison System. I'm Dante West. I served three years, eight months at Lansing Correctional Facility. I was exonerated in 2021. Roby, Justin, Carlos, Dante. Thank you for being here. You know, Donald Trump is facing a lot of a lot of different charges. If you could describe what his prison experience might be like, God forbid he goes in. I think he'll fit right in. You do? Yeah, because, you know, he's dealing with politics with the Democratic Party and the, the Republican Party. Yeah. But, and there's almost the same, but now you're dealing with Mexicans. 
uh -huh. blacks, whites, yeah. and Asians. Now you're talking about like this, these racial divisions in prison. What would Donald Trump, what group would he be in? Is there an orange? <laughs> <laughs> in the federal system where I serve time, there is some race segregation, but if a white guy goes to sit with Blacks or Asians, you're, they're not going to get reprimanded and thrown out. But you want to be respectful. Did you learn to whisper the word black in? <laughs> <laughs> Remember that time when Libs feigned how uh, offensive it was to talk about Hillary Clinton in prison? Yeah, uh, Donald Trump going to jail not only is not offensive to these exact same people, but is something to laugh at. Like, for instance, how would Donald Trump smuggle in a cell phone? What about, like, tweeting and stuff like that? Would he be able to do that, post on his social media platform? Yeah, if he sneaks in a cell phone. Yeah, if he gets a phone in there. Do you think Melania will bring stuff into the prison for him? I think he'll go to visitation and be like, hey, you need to go ahead and bring back that phone, and there's only one place to put it up, right? The phone? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how phones get in? Yeah, or, uh, well, you got to get the charger in, too, so. On the charger also. <laughs> what about Donald Trump's uh, tattoos? Should Donald Trump get a tattoo? Plenty of rappers get tattoos of Donald Trump. Donald Trump's mugshot, to be exact. Um, but here's what the inmates had to say. Would you recommend that Trump get some tattoos before? Definitely. He definitely, should. Definitely. What tattoo should he the get White House, before he goes the in? The portrait of himself. What about one of those little teardrops under his eye? <laughs> yeah, Doesn't that mean you have to do real work? Yeah, you have to put in real work. Yeah, yeah that's, I don't, he's, he hasn't earned the teardrop. Oh, you have to earn the teardrop. Or you earn them. Well, he said he did go kill Osama bin Laden, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, no, that was Obama, but uh, he probably did say <laughs> yeah. that, yeah. Oh, he killed Roe versus Wade, right? So I guess he was <laughs> <laughs> So what's the food like in prison? Jimmy Kimmel, getting education. How hard would it be for him to smuggle in like a bucket of KFC? <laughs> How hard would it be for him to make like the 11 herbs and spices in the toilet? Is that possible? <laughs> you guys do any toilet cooking in prison? Not, not in the toilet. The closest he would get to KFC, you you can cook some incredible, some of the best meals I ever had were in prison. You some of the best sleep. meals you've ever had were in prison? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For, are you? For, for sure. Really? Phen for sure. Phenomenal meals. You say no, though. You haven't had anything good to eat. Uh, I, I mean, some of the food is good, but you think about all the good food out here, I mean. The well, now everything is soy-based, too, so it sucks. Oh, he's probably never had soy in his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, uh, Jimmy Kimmel, doing what is the cringiest part of this entire bit, which is role-playing what would happen to Donald Trump in prison, uh, fetishizing es essentially the, the, the death of the president here with action figures. This is, this is the, the state of comedy in America. Okay, so now let's pretend this is his first day of prison, okay? And you guys can come in the area. Hey, everybody, it's me, Donald Trump. They're gonna roll with me, I got the knife. Don't talk to the police. Okay, I can't talk to you anymore. Give me a kiss. No, get away. Grab my pepper spray. Ah! We're gonna pull up on this guy. I love your flesh-colored underwear. That would not be the right thing to say to someone. Uh, and what are you doing over here? Kicking your ass! Oh. Hey, oh. I told you I would protect hey, him. Hey, what's going on over here? here? Hey, uh, get down. Everyone get down. Get down on the floor, isn't me? Yeah, uh, but I can't get back up. Not all. <laughs> all right, well, what did we learn here? You gotta find someone to protect oh, you, right? I was gonna say we wasted a lot of money on action figures. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the guy who has Johnny Carson's show, shows you how far we've fallen as a country and also how broken these people's brains are. Also, fascinatingly enough, we had somebody who does prison rehabilitation on my program recently, a guy's named Jack Brewer, and he tells me that everybody in prison actually loves Donald Trump and that every time he goes to a prison, uh, all these guys are straight up MAGA. Maybe it's because of, maybe it's because of the uh, justice reform, criminal justice reform that Donald Trump enacted. Just a thought. What's Jimmy Kimmel ever done for these people? Oh, I don't know. We go like live action role played with them. Yeah. Here's the truth. One day, <laughs> I'm going to take you in. You got to come to a prison with me, man. I'm going to take you into prison and let you see all of these guys inside the prison. All of them go, all of them are Trump supporters. Wow. And, and, and it's, un, I mean, it's unbelievable when you start to see the, like the most voiceless, man. It tells you a lot. 
when the most voiceless are supporting a, a, a president, especially like Donald Trump, that's a Republican. You've never seen this before. And the reason why is because people are seeing the results of these liberal leftist policies. Before you didn't understand it. I didn't understand it. I didn't understand how welfare, right, could lead to fatherlessness, right? I didn't mm -hmm. understand how, you know, letting the border be flooded could lead mm -hmm. to black black unemployment and could lead yes. for less opportunities for blacks and, and could lead to criminal justice uh, inequalities and inequities. You, I didn't I didn't put those things together before. And now because of Donald Trump, we're able to talk about it. Right. Social media and shows like this, they can't hide from it because no one can tell me I don't know what I'm doing or what I'm talking about. I'm in the prisons every week. I'm in the streets every week. I got kids that are that 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 live in in two bedroom apartments, and it's fifteen of them in there that I got to feed every week. I no one can tell me about any of these issues because my organization is touching it, and so this is why they are going to have to deal with this movement, and it's going to become a day in this November. They are literally going to have to put their money where their mouth is because the American people are going to speak. Because I'm telling you right now, I'm going on a rampage this electorate. I will talk and speak anywhere to help stop this madness. I believe God, this is God ordains time for people to speak truth. And we have to stop letting them separate us with skin color, man. We are brothers and this, this country was built on us being brothers and sisters and uniting us, the United States of America. It was a dream and this dream will be fulfilled, man. And I think this is the most important election in this nation's history. Uh, and I hope the black man feels and runs to the polls uh, to, to stand up for our people and for our kids and our, for our future generations.